Look at the screen in front of you. That's Matthew Khan, aka MK. He was murdered two days ago in Diego Martin area. Now, I did a video about it and trying to find out who killed this man dog. It is such a sad, sad fucking thing, pardon my language. Now, there are a couple rumors running around saying that people owe money and he went to pick it up and they kill him. There's another rumor saying that Diego Martin it's a drop zone for drugs as it seems like it's on the southern part. Don't kill me if I get this wrong, uh, Trinidadian people. But he went to do some kind of drug transaction. That was a straight lie. Yo, the way all this man lose him life, it pissed me the fuck off. I'm never gonna explain that to Uno. Let's go. Before we get into the video, I want to check out Countryman Canada, the YouTube channel, and also check out the WhatsApp group down below. You understand? In the group, we share information, we talk about a lot of stuff, and any ideas, any kind of videos you guys want me to make, I'll make it for you as long as it's possible for me to do it. So remember, check out the WhatsApp group. Now, let's go. So, who is Matrican? He is from Diego Martin and he own MK Auto Spa. And you see the beginning of the video. He sell everything when it comes to car, detail, mats, rims. Let me play the video one more time so you can get an idea of how popular this guy is. This guy run the biggest car show in a Trinidad. He's not a drug dealer. He man a gun man, he man a bad man. You understand? And the way all this you die. Believe me. <laughs> it really pissed me off. As you can see, the man is a big businessman, well loved by lots and lots of people. Now, <laughs> sometime you know, you see if trouble did set like rain, we could have seen it, believe me. But, look on that trouble yeah. just look how pretty that piece of trouble yeah. look. Now, you see that young lady in front of you, her name is Kerry Kunai. Kerry, the boss, Kunai, and this young lady is why the man get killed, murder, cold blood, believe it or not. Now, to be fair to Kerry, never explain the whole thing. One thing I can say about Kerry. <laughs> Kerry sex, you know, what's it, not it. I can't see why my you, Matthew, go mad over that girl like that. Now, straight up, now I'm making a no say, a pussy make 
macho, losing life. Can you see that girl there, Kerry? She have a big, dark secret. You understand? You see how pretty she is? You see how she look pretty and humble? But she have a big, dark secret. Now, the secret, I not really her fault. But, you see how Trinidad still? Trinidad is very, very lawless dog. We might think Jamaica lawless and other places, but when it comes to revenge and grudge, Trinidad is a melting pot. And anybody who say me a lie, anybody who say countryman is lying, no say God, I go see now. Now, in this case, this guy Matthew, he met a uh, Miss Kerry Kunai. You understand? See them a kiss there and all of that. This couple right here was in love. Manali. And you know, following her up and maybe she not being honest. Because, you know, she don't want to ruin the relationship. Or maybe she even told him. And he probably sh shoved it off. But even me as a man, I've made tons of mistakes. You understand? Because I was telling a friend of mine, you know, I, I used to talk to a girl who lived in the worst side of town and believe you me, you know, every minute you hear somebody get killed. And even one day I went over to her side of town and, you know, a dude, a couple of us was in her house and a dude knocked the door and when he opened the door, he said, where's the fucking, where's the fucking nigga? And she said something to him. And, you know, I said, what's up? Other person said, what's up? No, he had something in his hand. This is, this is a real story, you know. He had something in his hand and it looked like a power wash. You understand? And I said, oh, this guy is power washing the houses, the apartments. And when I looked good, it was a Tommy submachine gun. One of the new ones with the round, you know, the ones with the round barrel. Listen, when I see that, I get up and I'm out. And I call the young lady and I tell her, I said, listen, because I know her father, her father is in law enforcement. I said, I'm going to tell your motherfucking father on you. At two o'clock in the day, you have nigga come at your house with a Tommy machine gun. I know that kids and everybody is here. Uh, in, the, in, in Not only you have kids, but other people in the apartment then. Yeah. And listen, that shit was scary. And I tell you this, it's a lucky thing. When I looked at him, I thought it was a, a power wash uh, machine with holes. Because if I saw it was a gun, I would have run out of the house and he would have probably shoot me. And that's a real story. You understand? So, I say that to say this. Matthew was too relaxed and Miss Kerry had big baggage and this is the baggage right here. Look at this picture. Now look in front of you. It's an info graphics and it's pretty easy to understand. On the left is Mr. Matthew. 
and it goes like this. On the right, it's the young lady, Miss Kerry Kunai. Now it goes, boy meets girl and fall in love. Girl have baggage. Baggage kill boy. Let me repeat it again. Boy meet girl fall in love. Girl have baggage. Baggage kill boy. And this is the name of the baggage. Cap is the name of the killer. He is the one. And let me use the word allegedly. Take out Matthew Khan. Now, Cap is from Waterwheel Road. And he is a notorious drug dealer out there. And you don't want a ox can to serve P. He would have been a 90. Uh, kind of like a, me I call him a top, a top bottom feeder. A top bottom feeder. You understand? Now, this guy, Chap, he is related to Miss Kerry Kunai because he is her baby daddy. What I heard, I heard this guy and I hate to bring up this man name, but I heard this guy is like Vibes Cartel because rumor of it on the street is that him kill about three other man, two to three other person over this young lady. You understand? So this is another example remember i talk about fishy in jail beefing with another man over pum pum and now here comes chap this young lady baby father and him killed the big businessman matikian you understand and all the police them do them say they are investigating now all me can solve the case before the police them I mean not even the actually that it doesn't make sense. No. How do I know it is Cap who kill Matthew? Apart from the intel me I get, okay? I'm gonna show you something. Check this out. Now, Mr. Matthew Khan, the big businessman, he was killed on Waterwheel Road, Diego Martin, Tuesday night after 11 p.m. Shot and killed. Now, from Tuesday, it's Wednesday one day, Thursday, and today is Friday. And look at the picture in front of you. That is Miss Kerry Kunai her passport if you look at it the picture is a little blurry but it is her trinidad passport i'm going to show the full picture now she got her passport and not only did she get her passport she also got her plane ticket and that's it right here and she took off on a plane which is right here straight to London England let me repeat it again she got her passport she bought a plane ticket and within three days she was gone straight to London England that's the plane right there that she took off how do i know this it was on her facebook page she actually documented her leaving trinidad to go to england 
and that's how I know this. Now, how do viewers and subscribers feel about this? Because I think certain people have mixed feelings because she took off and went to England. But if you remember what I said earlier, this guy Chap, he is like Vibes Cartel because Vibes Cartel, he did the same thing for Shorty. You, you understand? And any man that goes around Shorty, Vibes Cartel makes sure you know gonna get rid of them. And everybody know the story about Papka and this that Monopus. You know them find Monopus dead in nine boxes and Marina to bomb box out. Shorty house them take him out of. You understand? Courtesy of Vibes Cartel. So this guy, Chap. Me have to call him the Trinidad Vibes Cartel and this is not because of his lyrical content. This is because of his sociopathic behavior. You understand? When remember we talk about sociopath, when you can do anything and you think say yo, it is right and you justify it. So, this guy Cap, but what the police then can dig him out. You understand? Cause a fuckery him do. But, me no want stray from the point that I was going to make. Cause the point I was going to make. I don't feel this young lady run off. Because she was a part of it or she was wicked. I think this lady run off because she is definitely afraid and he killed the man that she was in love with. Obviously, you can see this couple was in love. I don't know their history or whatever per se, but they were in love i don't know how long they were together but they were into each other and the guy cap from what i heard from my intel over there in diego martin that he has done this before and him is a a top bottom feeder you understand over there in Diego Martin. So, yo, I shoot me, I shoot him out. I'm one of the people them push him out. I fuck him though. Him kill a decent man. And it just goes to show you how Trinidad is. It is very lawless. While I'm doing this video, more killings coming in. Them kill the rapper. Never talk about that tomorrow. But yeah, very lawless. And the police then forget that pussy will uh, chop and kill the man. And listen, Matthew's gonna be buried on Monday. But I'm gonna say this, and people can take it any way they want to take it. No, I want all of the gangsters there who respect Matthew. I want to no go for Cap. I want to no push him out. If him do that to, to Matthew, he will do that to you guys. And obviously, you know the young lady didn't set up Matthew. It is as plain as day. He might carry pussy feelings. You understand? If the young lady don't want you, leave. But when do him kill the man she is in love with? You understand? In her time of the most wicked blood clot way. So yo B, may I ask the gangster then? Wanna push him out? You understand? 
push him out. Big E that thing. You understand? And that is the story of Matthew. That kid. You understand? That is the story. Very, very, very sad. Listen, my name is Countryman. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and click on another video. I'm out.